A new Division One women's volleyball poll has Burlington to go as follows: Pitt with ten first place votes, Nebraska with ten first place votes, Penn State with one first place vote, Louisville, Stanford, Creighton, Texas, Wisconsin, Kansas, Purdue, Oregon, SMU, Arizona State, Kentucky, Minnesota, USC, Georgia Tech, TCU, Florida State, Dayton. Tied at number twenty-one is BYU and Utah, but to me. Somebody has to be clear at number 21. I know those two teams played last week, and I say the winner of that match should be number 21, while the loser should be number 22. But that's just besides me, and there's Baylor, Florida, and North Carolina, and obviously Auburn is no longer ranked from last week to this week. But the receiving vote teams go as follows. Marquette with 34, Washington with 31, Arkansas with 28, Texas a and with 21, South Dakota State with 13, Auburn with 12, Michigan with 6, UCLA with 6, Illinois with 4, Four, Miami, Florida with four, and Virginia with four. And I'm just gonna go right ahead and jump to like the RPI slash what would be the currently like the top 16 right now. RPI wise, like the the top 16 would be like Louisville, Nebraska, Pitt, Creighton, Penn State, Stanford, Texas, Wisconsin, Oregon, SMU, Dayton, TCU, Kansas, Kentucky, Purdue, and USC. Though, I'm just going to more in particular go over like 35 through 65 or so. Just to give some context, like Virginia, Arkansas, Georgia Southern, Miami, Florida, Rice, Ole Miss, Wright State, Yukon, Tennessee, UTEP, South Carolina, University of Northern Iowa, Loyola Mar Marymount University in California, Michigan, College of Charleston, Colorado, UC Davis, Long Beach State, Indiana, Florida Coast University, Oklahoma, Georgia, Colorado State, UCLA, Arizona, USF, San Diego, UT Arlington, Hawaii, LSU, Pepperdine, Bowling Green, SFA, Ohio State, Drake, and Cal Poly, and obviously some of those teams are losing record, I get it. Obviously, if you're in a bubble, like I would dare to say, like really like 40 through 50 or 55 or so just to you got to win as many matches as you possibly can and, it, and avoid losses at all costs simply put same thing if you want to be like a, a team that not only hurts first two rounds but up to the sweet I mean sweet 16 and slash elite eight games and even if you lose a sweet 16 game you get to host again so that's the point about going over this RPI it does make sense and honestly they don't want to lose as much as possible I mean and some of these conferences do not have conference tournaments you got to keep that in mind so and for these one bid leagues and the only way you're going to get an NCAA tournament is win the conference you have to do it because it's not a guarantee your RPI is going to be good enough for to be that now the division one committee's top 16 which was released yet a few days ago would be and it's games through October the 19th, by the way. Well, the RPI is games through yesterday, I believe. But yeah, it's games through yesterday for the RPI. Now, Division One committees, top 16, Nebraska, Pitt, Penn State, Louisville, Stanford, Creighton, SMU, Texas, Wisconsin, Oregon, Kansas, Purdue, Utah, TCU, USC, and Minnesota. Just to let you all know about that portion of it. And we'll have to wait and see because there's a lot, there's still time left between now and selection show. Now, my top 10 for Division I women's volleyball goes as follows Pitt, Nebraska, and Penn State, Louisville, Stanford, Creighton, Texas, Kansas, Wisconsin, Purdue. Outside looking, it goes as follows Oregon, SMU, Arizona State, Kentucky, Minnesota, USC, and Georgia Tech. Now, there are some top 25 games between this poll to the next and those would be number four Louisville and number one Pitt number 18 TCU and number 23 Baylor number three Penn State and number 16 USC number 21 Utah at number nine Kansas number 19 Florida State and number 25 North Carolina number eight Wisconsin and number 10 Purdue and number four Louisville at number 12 SMU we're going to have to wait and see what happens not just a rank versus rank but unranked as well so anyways if you like this content Hit the like and subscribe button. And see you guys later on the road to seven subscribers. Of course, ultimate goal 
It's a thousand more, so my money out this course. Like a video, comment video really helps YouTube algorithms. More people see it, sharing a video does help as well, so more people can watch. And if you're watching, and not subscribe, hit subscribe button, ring the notification bell as well.